Hello everyone, I didn't get a chance to talk about your lab this week, so I wanted to make this video to introduce the lab to you and provide you with some insights on how you should approach the lab. So the lab this week is overview of skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. With the overview of the skeleton, you're going to be introduced to the bones, bone tissue, and bone features. That's pretty straightforward. Most of the structures that you're going to have to identify um, are part of the appendicular skeleton. So that's what I'm going to focus on here. This figure here shows the skeleton. What's shown in uh, green is called the axial skeleton. It basically makes these bones make up the long axis of your body, it includes the skull, the vertebral column, and the rib cage. That will be your lab for next week. This week, you're going to be learning the bones of the appendicular skeleton. The appendicular skeleton includes the bones of the appendages and the girdles that attach those appendages to the body trunk. My suggestion on how you learn those bones and bone features is to start at the girdles, the clavicle in this case, and then make your way down to the phalanges. So in other words, learn the clavicle and the bone features on the clavicle, then move to the scapula and the bone features of the scapula, and then the humerus, the ulna and radius, then the bones of the hand. And do the same thing on the lower appendage. Start at the coxal bones and then work your way to the femur and then the uh, le uh, bones of the leg which would be the uh, tibia and fibula and then the car uh, tarsals, metatarsals and phalanges of the foot. You want to study the bones of the appendages in a way that you'll be able to see them in your mind's eye. Now let's take a look at what I have posted to Blackboard for you. So if you go to, I'll, I'll, I'll back up just to make sure everyone knows where we are. So if you go down to the lab, lab number four, overview of skeleton, appendicular skeleton. As usual, uh, Here's your study guide, and if you don't have your lab manual, here are the pages from the lab manual. And this, of course, is your lab. One thing you might want to do before you actually complete your lab is uh, learn the bones of the appendicular skeleton by using this cool game called whack a bone. It is a really, really cool game. It's an educational game, but it's actually fun to play. Now, you will have to enable Adobe Flash, so that might be a problem to some of uh, you Mac users. But anyway, if I can get it going here, it's sort of an old game, so um, you're going you're gonna to hear this very you know, weird voice, but it really is good. This is great for you at least learning the names of the bones. So I'm just going to do the arm right now, just sort of show you how it works. So it'll give you the name of the bones, and you just drag and drop. Metacarpals, humerus, phalanges, clavicle, radius, scapula, ulna, right? It's a great way to learn the bones. Um, of the appendages. Now, a lot of what you're going to be learning and responsible for are actually bone markings, which are, you know, uh, processes, depressions, that sort of thing. But if you can at least start by learning the bones before you complete the lab, I think that would be very beneficial. Let's go back to the lab. Something else that you can consider is there is this app called 3D Anatomy Atlas app. It costs about five dollars. Excuse me, it is free actually. Uh, to download onto your phone. Um, it'll give you the entire upper appendage, um, but it doesn't give you anything else with the skeletal system. And then if you want to add the remainder of the skeletal system, you can pay an extra $5. Now, I am not, and I want to make this clear, I am not requiring 
you to download this app. Um, it is something that I found useful for teaching and I share it with my classes because I also think it could be useful for uh, studying. If you click on this link right here, I made a video where I used the app and I actually was able to screen capture the my, my phone. Uh, so screen capture the app and so you can see how you could use it. Again, um, if anything, download it. It's free. Take a look at it. See if there's something that, that, uh, that'll work for you. Um, one thing I want to mention is in this video, I say that for five dollars you can get the entire muscular skeletal system, which is the which is the skeletal system and the muscular system. That is incorrect. For five dollars you can you can get just the remainder of the skeletal system. I think for something around seventeen dollars you can get the muscular and skeletal, and for thirty dollars you can get everything. Uh, all 11 organ systems or whatever they offer on there. Now, again, I am not requiring you to get this app. I am simply sharing it with you uh, for consideration. All right, that's all I have. Have any questions? Don't hesitate.